Hi everyone, this is Felisa. Welcome back to Homebody. So in this video, I'm going to be styling my entryway. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell. At the end of the video, I'll let you know where the items came from. Bye. Okay, love. So let me just tell you what I have going on in my entryway for winter slash Valentine's. So I'm going to throw some black in. I really haven't played around with the color black. So I'm going to try my hands in that. So my wall art, I purchased it last year from Z Gallery. And I actually ended up getting this 50% off because there's a little crack in the glass. But so you're not able to see it unless I show it to you. So they actually have these wall wall arts right now, 20 or 25% off. They're really pretty. And if you're a teal cerulean lover, this is a perfect piece for your collection. The sconces on the side actually came from Z Gallery as well. They were a clearance product. I think I paid about 15 bucks for those. The candles as well came from Z Gallery. They're super cute. I like these because of course they're that cerulean color. And I Okay, so let's just move on to the items that's on my entryway table. So, this is a ellipse vase. It's super unique, super cute, and I love it. I've had it for a couple of years. Came from Z Gallery. I had actually paid about 70 or 75 bucks for it. And since I've bought in mine, these vases have price have skyrocketed up because I think they're around 150 maybe even 170 right now but you can get them on sale sometimes they happen for like 89 bucks or 99 bucks okay so the smaller ellipse vase I paid about 15 bucks for that one I think the regular price for that one when I bought it was maybe 29 or 39 bucks um, the candle holders came from Bath and Body Works. These are my newer, newest ones 
because they these actually have the ridges in there in them now just so you know these candle holders are not glass they're plastic they're plastic all the way through but you won't know unless you pick them up now last year when i purchased my other set they were 39 dollars a piece and i used a 25 percent off coupon for some reason this year they went up to 49 dollars and I purchased this set because I wanted another set because I love them so much. And I also had my 20% off coupon. It's a really cute. They're good for the holidays and I use them all year round. If you've been following me for a while, you know I've been using them all year round. My favorite candle holders. <laughs> these balls actually came from, I think these either came from Home Goods or Burlington. I'm not sure. But I may have paid about $7.99 or $9.99 for it. Now, this rose was a gift to me. And they have these in Amazon. They're called like these Rose Forevers. And the rocks actually came from Hobby Lobby. My elephant was a gift to me as a collaboration over on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm over on Instagram at Homebody with Felisa. Everyone, I think I have about 59,000 followers on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, go ahead on over there and help me reach 60K over on Instagram. My entryway table itself actually came from Rooms to Go. However, Wayfair has them cheaper, but they're out of stock right now. I'll place a link below because you can log on to Wayfair's link uh, website and you can put your email address in there so that you can be notified when the item comes back in stock. Or you can even download ShopTagger. We always talk about ShopTagger, but, and then they'll let you know when the item comes back in stock. So my Ming boxes actually came from Z Gallery and I'm loving my little run a rug here that I have in front of my door. Actually, it should be pushed closer to the door, but for some reason I have it sitting in the middle of the entryway table because it's to keep the mud and dirt from being tracked in the house. So technically I should have it closer to the door, but my little rug came from Ruggable. It's washable and I love it. So, this sums up this video. I hope that it inspired someone on using black for the winter or perhaps even Valentine's Day. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.